I'm Dr. Soltero, um, welcome to my video. Uh, my goal here is to try to give you an idea of what uh, plastic surgery is all about, what the uh, credentials you should look for a plastic surgeon, and specifically we'll talk a little bit more about breast augmentation. And what I will focus in, in a lot of questions that patients literally ask me. Let's start with the beginning. Uh, as a plastic surgeon, you need to find somebody that's board certified like I am by the American Society of Plastic Surgery. This gives you a guarantee that the person that you're seeing at least has been certified. He's done the training, it's somebody that at least has all the credentials that are needed to perform the operation. Secondly, you should find somebody that has experience. Not a guy that maybe has done a couple of breast augmentations, somebody that has done a significant number that can show you before and after pictures, that can really address all the issues that you might have regarding this operation. Lastly, somebody that performs the operation in a certified facility, like my facility, which is a quadruple ASS facility, which is just a bunch of words, but in reality what it guarantees you is a, is a place that is certified that to the highest standards uh, of surgery so that you can be as safe as possible. In my facility, we use board certified anesthesiologists, which gives you another layer of safety. Now, let's talk a little bit about breast augmentation as a procedure. I have lots of patients that come in looking for augmentations, they want to be a little bit bigger, they want to be a, you know, a little bit more lifted. Key things to discuss is first the type of implants. Let's start with the basics. You have now the ability to choose between a saline or a silicone gel. The saline implants basically are, is an implant that is basically filled with water. Uh, the implant itself has a little valve and that's how we fill it up. The downsides of saline implants is that they can ripple, you see a little bit of the rippling here that they're going to feel a little bit more uh, fakish, in a word. You know, it's going to feel a little bit more like a bag. The advantage of a saline implant is that if it ever breaks or leaks, salt water goes into your system and your body absorbs it, and there's really no downside to that. However, you know, they need to be replaced. It's literally, as I tell my patients and they laugh, it's like having a flat tire. They do come with a warranty for 10 years, so that covers that issue. And the last advantage of it is obviously that they're a little bit cheaper. Now, with the silicone gels, it is an implant that is what's called a cohesive implant. It is like a gummy bear. If you cut it in half, it all stays together. That is a great advantage with an implant that is going to last you longer. It's going to feel softer, more like a natural breast. The downside is if they ever leak, it's hard to tell if they're leaking or not. The FDA recommends getting an MRI every three years and that is up to the patient if they're going to follow with that recommendation or not. Now, implants come in a variety of different shapes. There's what's called a moderate profile or a high profile. And these two implants both have the same amount. The moderate profile is a little bit wider and just has less of a lift. The high profile has a smaller diameter and more of a lift. So, in a sense, for younger patients that want a little more of a perky breast, they usually choose a high profile implant. If somebody has a little bit of a wider chest cavity and don't require as much of a lift, they will go with a moderate profile. The key thing is that when you come in to see me, that we can sit around and talk about the different options that you can have. I can show you a variety of pictures and then you can see what is exactly what's going to match your body the best. Again, the most important factor is to see somebody that has experience doing this, that has done a significant number of these procedures, that knows how to do it in a safely manner and can deliver what you expect. Please see some of my other videos so you'll see a little bit more. We'll focus on some of the other issues of plastic surgery and try to keep you as informed as possible. Thank you for chatting with me.